26 million people in the United States suffer from kidney disease, and March, National Kidney Month, a time to raise awareness about the importance of our kidneys to our overall health. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire joins us live this morning with more on some things that we can do to keep our kidneys healthy. Aaron, good morning. Patrick, good morning to you. There are several things we can do to keep our kidneys healthy. The first step is seeing a doctor. Now, getting regular checkups to make sure that our bodies are working like they should be is very important, of course. There are also a few small lifestyle changes that could have a very impact, a very big impact on our kidney health as well. The first is increasing physical activity. That can be as simple as walking more or taking the stairs. Recent studies have found that people who sit for too long without engaging in physical activity are more likely to develop kidney disease. And any weight loss that comes from those extra workouts can also cut down on the risk as well. Next, try to eat minor or try to treat minor pain without medications like ibuprofen and aspirin, which can be damaging to the kidneys if used on a regular basis. Instead, try heating pads or ice to treat those minor pains and aches. And finally, read food and medicine labels. High sodium intake can lead to increased blood pressure and kidney problems. Now, all of these are simple changes you can make now to prevent serious damage later on. Kidney disease is sort of an insidious uh, disease. It, it takes away a lot of your life uh, just by the fact that you have to go through this dialysis quite frequently. And, and then when you're done with it, you're pretty much shot for the day because you're, you're very fatigued. So it can be difficult for people. The National Kidney Foundation is participating in Roanoke Valley Gives, an online day of giving that will happen on Wednesday. There's also a kidney walk that will take place in Roanoke this fall. I've posted more information on how to sign up for that as well to our website, WSLS.com. I'm Erin Brookshire, WSLS 10.